Hey guys, welcome to our channel Eat by the Travel. I am Kevin and today we are in the metropolitan city of Guadalajara. Jenny and I have been traveling throughout Mexico this entire year of the 2021 in search of home. But if you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so and don't forget to ring that bell so you can follow us in our adventures. Today we have a delicious vlog in Guadalajara at the fastest service restaurant in the entire world. The name is Carnes Garibaldi. Carnes Garibaldi was established here in Guadalajara in 1970 on the main street of uh, Garibaldi and it is known to be the fastest restaurant in the entire world by the Guinness Book of Records with a record of 13.5 seconds of having your entire meal during that time. This, the specialty here at Carnes Garibaldi is La Carne en su Jugo, which I am a huge fan of. Growing up in Chicago, we have a lot of Mexican restaurants that are from Jalisco. So Carne en su Jugo is very common in Chicago. One of my favorite places to try it is at Los Gallos on 26th Street. It's my childhood taqueria. We've been going there for so many years. And believe it or not, it is very, very good. So my expectations for Carnes Garibaldi is very, very high. Carne en su Jugo literally translates to meat in his own juices and it's originally from the state of Jalisco. So when in Rome, you have to have carne en su jugo, right? So thank you for joining us on this very, very cool experience. You're gonna see how fast it is. Make sure you don't blink, because the first time that we came here, it was super, super like, <laughs> and everything gets placed on your table super fast. We're gonna go and ask for a table really quick. Uh, the experience at this restaurant starts as soon as you walk into the restaurant. So we're gonna place a timer for as soon as we walk in. Join us. So we're gonna put a timer as soon as we walk in just so that you can see how fast we get our food and then we'll break it down for you from the time that we ordered and how fast we got our food, our drinks and everything. Cool. Right now it's 2.34. One thing that's kind of cool about this tree, Garibaldi, you have three options for carne en su jugo. You also have uh, Camilo's 333 and another Camilo, uh, another carne en su jugo spot down in the corner. Um, so <laughs> Jenny, the other day say, Jenny was saying the other day that this is the carne en su jugo neighborhood because you find a lot of places for carne en su jugo here. Super cool. We've only tried this one. And the next time we'll definitely give, give the other ones a try. So we're gonna use this timer on my phone just so that I can track it. Uh, but you guys will be able to have a timer on the screen so you guys can see how fast everything just blue, 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 starts flying. And we'll start the timer right about now. That's 35 seconds and we already have food placed on the table. And look at this. 35 seconds. Look, 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 look. look. See how fast that was? I lapped it at 35, I think it was 8 seconds and we got our phone. And, and the only reason that it was 8 seconds is because there was people in between him and he couldn't get through. It would have been what, 5 seconds? Probably 5 seconds. That was quick. Look, man, my water. A minute and 12 seconds for my food, my water, and everything else in between. That's pretty quick. That's some fast service. So carne to jugo is meat cooked in its juices. It also has frijoles de la olla and bacon. If you ever cook frijoles de la olla, you know that this process to make this food takes forever. Like just frijoles themselves take hours. So none of this is fast food. This is uh, uh, food that takes a long process to make. Um, so yeah, 
I normally, uh, my food always has to uh, look and feel fresh. I put some cilantro. Cebolla. Set to go. Now, by no means am I trying to break a record and finish this plate really fast. So let's take our time and chat and try to figure out how they get this super fast service. For starters, looks like they have walkie-talkies and you know, everybody got a walkie-talkie. Obviously, they use a tablet. The tablet gets the order out there really quick. Um, they also carry like five, six plates at a time, which is very impressive without spilling. Imagine, this is caldo and sojugo, it's, it's, it's hot. And it's still, yeah, it's still really warm. So, for them not to spill it, that's really, really impressive. Um, and it just seems like communication is key. Everybody got like, like a Bluetooth thing going on. Everybody's walking fast. And then again, like, Technology has helped this process get faster because this record was broken in 1996, 13.5 seconds, and there weren't tablets back in the day. So, you know what? The, why am I trying to figure that out? <laughs> let's just enjoy this food and let's see how good it is. Ooh, the texture of the meat is nice. It reminds me of Italian beef. Shout out to my people in, in Chicago. Italian beef. Look at it. Look at the texture. It also looks very light compared to the one that I've had in Chicago. In Chicago, they seem to grill the meat. Like if it was carne asada, they grill it and they put it in the broth. And here, it seems like it's boiled. Let's see. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. So I'll make me a taquito. No. <laughs> so yeah. Well, I think it's really cool that the, the whole experience, you don't even have to ask for extras because they offer a good amount of things. And just to prove that this is, hasn't been here for a while, I'm gonna try some of these frijoles to make sure they're still warm. Mm -hmm. they're, they, they're a little spicy, they got a little kick to it, like chipotle or chile de arbol. Man, these are bomb. You gotta try them. So yeah, everything's warm. Nothing's been here for a while. Even though we got here and the food was already on the table, like it's not like it was old or anything like that. So the, the Guinness Book of Records invites any other restaurant to compete with Carnes Garibaldi to see if they can beat the record. But the most important thing is not compromising the quality of the food that they serve. Um, and man, I don't. How can you compromise? Like, I don't know how they're going to be able to beat something like this because they have like five other locations, and every location lives up to the standards of serving your food under 13.5 seconds so every restaurant that they open they put some massive training into everybody that works here um, i don't know i don't, know. I don't have, i'm not a restaurant owner but if you're out there come give these people some competition i would like to try your food as well i'm going to show you the guinness book of record Oh, it's just nice. Cool. What are your thoughts? They must have had a, like, a not so good day the other day. Because it was just alright, but today it's really good. I'm glad that we came to give it a second shot. Oh, 
is still the best meat. It's all really good. But I do love the beans. They're different. They're good. So we, we had been here once before. And I had declared Los Gallos in Chicago the definite winner between both Garibaldi, I mean, yeah, between Carnes Garibaldi and, uh, and Los Gallos. Man, I think they must have heard me or something because today it's way, way better. And that's another thing about like soups, caldos, that sometimes when they sit for a longer time, sometimes they get better because the juices get better flavor. I don't know what the case was, it was today, but it's really, really good. I highly recommend you guys check out this uh, Carnes Garibaldi. It's not just the name, it's not just the fastest service in the world, but it's good, good quality stuff. Damn, I might just order me another one. <laughs> so the food passed the test. Now we're gonna order dessert to see if it's also as quick. We're gonna order the Jericaya, which is the Jalisco version of creme brulee. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a French influence there, but it's a very popular dessert here in Jalisco. And, and start to have, just order the Jericaya. Legend says that a nun by the name of Genara Caracalla from Valencia, Spain was cooking for an orphanage in Guadalajara, Mexico. Inspired by a French recipe, she was looking for a nutritious dessert to make for the children, got distracted, and then accidentally left it in the oven a little too long. But then she realized that that burnt top layer actually gave it a distinct and delicious texture. Look at that custard. But it's like a creamier flan. It's really good. I think a lot of people could agree with us and say that the frijoles are very, very, very good. That they even sell them pre-packaged for you to just refry at home. Uh, that's kind of cool. We also saw that uh, next door they have like a little store selling you the ingredients for you to make your own carne en jugo at home. So that's also really cool that you could just pick up and go if you want to skip coming to a restaurant. I'm sure during the pandemic that helped out a lot for people who wanted to cook carne to Google at home and you know, didn't want to make all the ingredients. They have everything prepped for you, so it's cool. Lastly, sometimes the weights can be crowded right at the entrance and it looks like oh, it's going to take forever, but because the service goes by so fast, it doesn't take too long. Last time we were here, we waited maybe, what, like 15 minutes? And there, it looks like there was 20 people ahead of us. Uh, but overall, our experience was really, really, really good this time. Uh, what do you think? Would you want to come to Guadalajara and check out Carne Garibaldi? Comment down below. Or comment down below if you have any other recommendations for where we should try Carne to Hugo when being here in Guadalajara. We plan to come back to Guadalajara sometime soon. This state of Jalisco has so much to offer. Uh, there's other places like Tequila, Mazamitla, uh, San Juan de los Lagos that we want to come back to vlog. So make sure to write down your recommendations uh, in the comments down below so you can give us a good idea of what you would like to see next time that we come to the state of Jalisco. We hope you enjoyed this delicious vlog. Hopefully you didn't get too hungry. <laughs> we hope that someday you also get the opportunity to visit Carne Garibaldi. Uh, and that's it from us. Se cuidan, se vayan y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Ha, ha, ha.